Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're going to love today's video because I'm going to go over some of the great things that you can do when you can't play on the golf course or go to the driving range, which is why I call this video, when you don't have time, this is how you golf. If you have a golf simulator, you can golf at home. Never, ever will replace playing on a real world golf course, obviously. Hitting balls in a driving range, it's important you do that as well. However, there's a lot of fun that you can have on a golf simulator. There is a lot of practice that you can do on a golf simulator to help get better, maybe along with a golf coach or getting golf lessons, using that simulator to help practice and get data to make your game better. I mean, really, you know, whether you have kids in sports, if you have a busy, hectic career, if you own a business, if it's raining, snowing, too hot, too cold, not enough time to practice, not enough time to golf, no time to practice, it's too windy, you know, crazy times, you know, tee times, um, you know, waiting for slow golfers, 20 minutes at a tee box, or there's no golf courses near you if you're in a remote area, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There is a way to get a golf practice session in or a round of golf very quickly by yourself, with your family, or with your friends by having a golf simulator. Now there is a solution. Yes, it's an investment. Let me show you. First thing, I do have SkyTrack Plus, uh, Unicor i Light Mini, and a Garmin R10 launch monitor. So I have a vast amount of options for software. And that is something you really need to decide when you're setting up a golf simulator, or if you have one, what direction you want to go. Do you want a Doppler radar, a less expensive uh, launch monitor, you know, like the Garmin R10, or the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro that sits behind you. That's great for somebody that has lefties and righties in their family or with their friends, um, or maybe a side-sitting launch monitor, which I now prefer, and I use the SkyTrack Plus, and also I do have a Unicor i Mini Lite, which is absolutely fantastic as well. There's always gonna be some sort of subscription, typically for software. For instance, with the SkyTrack Plus, you have a $129.95, dollar subscription and that gives you access to the driving ranges the swing lab you can connect a third-party simulation software new improved uh, ranges and then unlock add-on availability and then also i have the course play which is 220 a year and you're going to get uh, right now it's actually 31 courses from around the world including pebble beach and then uh, i also have e6 which that has 15 courses from true golf E6 Connect, stroke play only, and that's 120 a year. So I'm gonna demonstrate some of that for you. And then also with the Unicor, you've got some options as well. So in order to use the Unicor software, you do have to have at least the pro package if you wanna use third party software. I'm not gonna go into everything, but they also have Refine, which is uh, golf simulation as well. And uh, I bought the Unicor mainly so I can use it with GS Pro because I wanted a supported launch monitor with GS Pro. In the past, I have been using Garmin with a third party connector and that is not officially supported with GS Pro. You might have additional problems if you use a third party connector as some people have ran into like myself using a third party connector with software. However, it is possible to do that and it is possible to do it trouble-free as I have been for probably the last probably nine months trouble-free, but I did go through some problems with it. At any rate, I also like the side-sitting launch monitor that is camera-based because it does a better job of picking up short chips and it also gives you the ability to putt like with the SkyTrack system or something like the Unicor without using you know webcams and an additional software and setup but there is a way to do that if you decide to go a less expensive route with like the Garmin or the MLM2 Pro because there are a lot of different third-party connectors out there that you can do that with and webcams if you're a techie kind of person and can set that up. Now I wanted to show you a couple of things like with SkyTrack, I wanted to show you the long drive competition which you can do to play with friends. Really kind of a fun thing that they've just included with their SkyTrack software and also one of the driving ranges, I believe they have seven or eight driving ranges out and they continue to add them every month. 
And this one is called Tour Proximity Islands. I really like this practice area. I want to show you that. So something else fun that you can do within golf simulation. And then also I want to show you hole 7 and hole 18, which are some of the most famous holes in the world. And that's on Pebble Beach. Also, I want to show you the Unicor iMini Lite along with GS Pro. And specifically, I want to show you putting, which works very well with the Unicor iMini Lite uh, within GS Pro. Now, you do have to have a um, subscription, which is $199 a year for the Pro Package, in order to use the third-party connector. I'm not going to go over everything with the Unicor for the software, but I am going to put that graphic up on the um, screen. And there are other packages like the Champion Package, which will give you uh, 20 refined courses as well, which is their golf simulator software. It's kind of interesting. So also with Unicore, I want to show you the driving range within GS Pro. And they have up and coming changes to that coming uh, very, very soon. And then on course practice is my absolute favorite thing within GS Pro. And GS Pro, their subscription is $250 a year. Put that graphic up on the screen here for you. And that is going to be improving uh, dramatically here coming out in the fall. I did a video on that a few weeks ago. So if you want to take a look on my profile uh, on my channel, you'll find that. And I'll also uh, put a couple of videos at the end here that I think you'd be interested in. If you don't have golf simulation already, to not make mistakes when you set things up or buy things. And I kind of put some of my like top 10 uh, mistakes that I made as I was in my golf simulation journey. And I also wanted to show you within GS Pro and the Unicore on Mini Lite is on course practice, which I already said is one of my favorite things within, if not my favorite thing within GS Pro. And it gives you the ability to put the ball anywhere on the golf course on any hole within GS Pro, which right now I believe there's over 700 golf courses. So one thing that I'll do is like maybe play a long drive contest on a specific hole from a tee box. Well, Sanctuary, I believe it's hole number one, has a drop, an elevated tee box down to a green that's 79 yards down and you can really bomb drives. So maybe you hit five drives and they hit five drives and your other friend hits five drives, you know, and the best, you know, whatever you figure out between the three of you. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, the first thing is Tour Proximity Islands on Skytrack that I wanted to show you. And this has a 50 yard, 100 yard, 150 yard, 200 yard, and 250 yard island that you can practice over water. Obviously, there's not a whole lot of people that love hitting over water. If you play golf, you've hit it in the water, I guarantee it. So I think this is a great one to practice with. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a nine iron and we'll go ahead and hit towards the 150 yard mark. Get up there. Nice. Beauty. But let's go ahead and move on to the long drive competition. This is something you can play with your friends. I'm not doing that right now. I'm just gonna hit a couple shots here for you. Okay, so the idea of the long drive competition is you can add uh, friends to it or competitors to it. And it gives you a total score based on either three or six shots. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit a couple here for you. Uh, 277 on that one, 103 in the club speed. A little bit of side spin at 689 to the right, but not too bad. See if we can get one more out there. Two seventy-five. Still about the same side spin. This is 
279. So again, side spin crazy. That was a 108 mile an hour swing. All right, now I'm mad. Go. Two seventy eight. Hundred and five mile an hour swim, but the problem is the side spin. Seven hundred and fifty eight RPMs to the right. I mean I can't hit that any harder. I mean that thing is rolling. Go. All right, 284, I'll take it. 107 mile an hour swing. Same side spin though, 693, 2700 RPMs on the spin. So if I could get that spin down, that's gonna go 295 probably, even close to 300 on a good rollout. But you can see this is a great tool to practice with. All right, next I'm gonna go over to Pebble Beach. Again, this is on SkyTrack Plus. We'll do Pebble Beach hole number seven, the famous hole that everybody wants to play. And then I'll also hit one from 18, uh, the closing hole, uh, one of the best holes really in the world, probably the best public golf course in the United States of America, uh, Pebble Beach. All right, so this is hole number seven at Pebble Beach and it's playing 96 yards the way I have it set up. I think it's from the blues and it plays downhill to the green to 25 feet. So it plays like it's 87. I'm gonna hit a 56 degree, pretty easy one. See if we can get it close. Stay there, all right, not too bad. All right, so we've got 25 feet to the pin. Grab my putter. So this one, it slopes right to left, 25 feet, one inch uphill. So shouldn't be too difficult. Just gotta get it in that gimme circle. All right, there we go. So that's par. Our next hole will be hole number 18 at Pebble Beach on SkyTrack Plus. Same thing for SkyTrack. All right, that should be good. 271 yard drive to the left of the tree. So, We've got 253 to the pin. I don't have anything that can get me there. So I'm gonna lay up over in that wide green area on the other side of the bunker. I'm just gonna hit a six iron here and hopefully we get it within like 80 or 90 yards. Nice. Wow, six iron went 211 yards. And we've got, let's see, 44 yards of the pin. So I'm gonna hit a 60 degree here, put it to the back of my stance, just pop it up there hopefully at about 35 yards or so and hopefully it rolls in to the gimme circle. Get up there, go. Well, that didn't work out. That's all right. So, so I have a chance for birdie or par. So we have 27 feet, six or seven inches uphill. 27 feet, seven inches uphill. So should be able to stop it. Aim to the right just a little bit because the slope of the green is right to left. Get in the hole, get in the hole, get in the hole! 
All right, that's par. So that's what you can get with SkyTrack. A lot of really cool practice utilities, great course play. They're only gonna add more practice to the software and they're gonna continue to add great real world golf courses to SkyTrack course play. Let's move on to the Unicor iMini Lite along with GS Pro. All right, we've got GS Pro loaded up. I loaded up the putting range for the 10 foot putts. I took one putt, I made the first one, so we're doing good. So basically the way I've got this set up is it's exactly 10 feet to where I've got it marked, where my ball is, to the screen. So essentially, if it works correctly, and it does, if I hit a 10 foot putt and I hit it straight, it's gonna go in. So we're gonna go ahead and hit a couple putts here for you, show you how this works. Uh, what's great about the Unicor, it gives you feedback, tells you if you're in range for the shot. So we'll put that in range and you'll hear it, it audibly, it'll audibly tell you. All right, let's hit a couple putts. It's great to putt to start out a round or just to practice on a golf simulator because it is different from putting in real life. Nothing really beats that. All right, well, I'm two for two. Let's see how many we can get. Oh, three for three, let's go. Four for four. All right, one more. Should I close my eyes on this one like Michael Jordan? All right, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna close my eyes. Line it up first, closing my eyes. Oh! All right, all right, next thing, we're going to go over to the driving range. I'm gonna do a quick flyover here for you. All right, and here is a flyover of the driving range. All right, so this is hole number one using Sanctuary with GS Pro and the Unicor iMini Lite. I did take a couple practice swings. My last one, I had 112 mile an hour swing speed, but I just absolutely sliced it off to the right. So I'm gonna aim a little bit more to the left and see if I can straighten it out. And we'll see if we can get one really down there for you. Go. Go, hit the car path. Yes, let's go. <laughs> All right, 397 yards, 106.8 mile an hour club speed. Ball speed was 146. So pretty good strike. Um, I think I can get it down past 400 if I really whack it. So I did hit slightly down on the ball. Uh, Rory McIlroy hits down on the ball. Tiger hits down on the ball. So I'm not Rory McIlroy. I really need to hit up on the ball in order for it to go further. All right, that's gonna complete everything at the golf sim. Let's wrap things up upstairs. So that's gonna be about it for today's video. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. It would really help my channel to grow and allow this video to be shown to way more people. It is the greatest honor that you could give to me. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do that right now. I would love that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.